gosh, you know, firefighters have been dealing with a lot of grass fires lately. The wind combined with the heat creating a bit of a challenge for them. You know, we saw that yesterday in Leavenworth County and today here in Independence. Only a shirt was spared by the fire. The rest of this Independence home deemed a total loss. All the doors were locked. I busted out one of the windows and then kicked in the door and tried to get in as far as I could. By that time, firefighters pulled up. The South Cedar Avenue home was fully covered in flames. All of her stuff that's in the back of the house is completely melted. You can see where the wind blew flames onto the neighbor's house. When we arrived, we had probably wind gusts in the neighborhood at 20, 25 miles an hour and it seemed to be changing direction, so it didn't take long for the fire to, to get an upper hand. The elements also challenged seven fire departments in Leavenworth County Saturday as they worked into the wee hours of the morning to contain the 350 acre grass fire burning too closely to homes. In Independence, firefighters are still trying to figure out what damage the wind caused. I don't know if the grass fire caused the house fire or if it was secondary to the house itself catching fire. And the owner was not home at the time. Firefighters telling us tonight that she is visibly upset and she hopes to take a look at the damage herself tomorrow. In Independence, Taisha Walker, KBC 9 News.